Ciao friends, and welcome to a new video about DAX. In this video, I want to show you the latest feature introduced in the DAX language in March 2021. Indeed, in this version of DAX, Microsoft introduced the capability of using multiple column filters in Calculator. This is a very small and simple addition, but it goes in the right direction of enforcing the usage of best practices and making DAX simpler. So, in the video, I want to show you how the feature works, and uh, while in the process of uh, learning the details, we will also uh, review how conditions in Calculate are translated into table filters in Calculate. That helps in understanding the semantics of the new feature and how to take advantage of it the right way. Let's get started. Let's start by writing simple code and reviewing how Calculate works. In uh, this code, I created a measure red sales that computes the sales amount forcing the color to be red. And then I use summarize column, I slice by color again, and I compute red sales. Now, if I run this query, you see that uh, the result contains the same value of sales amount for all the rows. That means that uh, the filter coming from uh, the summarize column function, that is blue, black, green, or orange, is replaced by my filter that is filtering only red. That is the usual work of uh, Calculate. What if I want to compute a different measure? I want to compute uh, red or contoso sales. So I replace it here and also here. And I want to use a different condition, not only red, but red or brand equals contoso. So I use an or, and then I say that the product brand need to be equal to contoso. If I now run the query, it is going to work. But if I run the same query a few weeks ago, that wouldn't work. And we need to understand the reason why. Let's first check that it works and it computes uh, the same value everywhere. So again, it's ignoring the filter on the color and it's also ignoring the filter on the brand. We can check that by summarizing by product brand, run the query, and you see that uh, the same value appears again. The filter on the brand or on the color, they are both replaced by my new condition. Now, why didn't it work up to a few weeks ago? <clears throat> because uh, the filter that you place uh, using condition is actually translated into a table filter. And the way this translation happens uh, defines the semantic of uh, your calculation. So we go back to red sales, we review how the filter is replaced, is translated into a table function, and then we see how the new feature works again by creating a temporary table that contains the values that we want to filter. Let's get started. So first of all, let's go back to our red sales, replace that. We filter again by color and we use red sales again. Run the query, it produces a result. As I said, when you write product color equals red, Calculate actually translates it into a table filter. Calculate translates uh, this condition into filter all, all product color, where product color equals red. The previous condition is translated into this condition, and the result is going to be exactly the same. If I want to use a more complex condition, so instead of just color equal red, I want to use product color equal red or product brand equals contoso, this query is now not going to work. If I hit enter, you see that it produces an error. And the reason is my filter function is iterating all product color and it cannot check color and brand at the same time. So. What most people did before this new feature was to, instead of filtering all product color, filter product. If I filter product, I'm now iterating over the entire table. That means I can access any column of the product table. So if I run the query now, it produces a number. The thing is, the number is no longer the same everywhere. Why that? 
Well, because I'm filtering product, so I'm no longer replacing the filter coming from the summary column because a product is uh, working under the filter context created by summarize column. If I want to ignore that filter, I can do that, but I need to use all around product. That produces, again, the correct value because it's a product, uh, it's a color or contoso, but I'm removing all the filters from uh, the product table. That is a bit too much. I'm ignoring not only the filter coming from the color and the brand, but any filter on the product table. Moreover, this also has another problem. That is, I'm filtering a table. And uh, you know that filtering tables, uh, entire tables, is quite always a bad thing to do. You need to restrict your calculation to the smallest number of columns that needs to be used in order to apply your filter. So the right way to write this code is to write filter all product color and all product brand. By writing the condition this way, now my filter is working on all the colors and all the brand. So it's ignoring filter on color and brand and it can apply the condition. If I run the query now, it produces the same number everywhere, filtering only the two columns that I'm interested into. And this is exactly what the new feature does. If you do not use this larger condition before, let's format the code, and you just write a condition using multiple columns, it is translated into filter with all on both columns. So it is going in the direction of enforcing best practices, which is always a good thing. It does not always work because the columns that you need to use uh, need to be of the same table. If I want to place a filter not only on the color, but on the date, for example, let's say I'm interested in color equal red or date calendar year, equals calendar year 2010. And if I try to run the, the query right now this way, you see that it doesn't work. And it says that the expression contains columns from multiple tables, but you can only use columns from a single table if you use uh, the new syntax. The reason is uh, when it creates uh, the new table with all, all accepts only columns coming from the same table. You cannot mix a table, different tables in the same expression. If you need to write a condition that use multiple columns, you still need to go back to the original scenario. So you use uh, uh, a cross join, you need to use a filter over the cross join of all product color. Uh, let me write it better. And all data calendar year. And at this point, I created a temporary table that contains a color and year. And I can make this work. If I hit, uh, if I run the query, now you see I obtain my result filtering only 2010. The behavior of uh, uh, the new feature using multiple columns is by default overriding any filter coming from uh, the outside. So if I filter color and brand two columns in the same table of the same table, I will ignore both filters. What if I don't want to ignore the filters? Well, if that is the case, I need to use the key filters modifiers. Let's see that. I need to go back to the original query. So let's use product color equals red or product brand equals contoso. Okay, run the query. And uh, you see that uh, I'm ignoring the filter on the color and the filter on the brand because of the all introduced by uh, the code. What if I don't want to ignore? So I want this query to only show the values when I'm showing uh, the red color. If that is the case, I can use keep filters. 
Keep filters tells Calculate not to replace outer filters, but uh, to merge the outer filter with uh, the current filter. And if I run the query now with Keep filters, uh, you see that, uh, oh, because I have a uh, red orcantoso, I'm not ignoring the filter red. Now the number is different. Look at, uh, if I don't have Keep filters, uh, I have the same number everywhere because I'm ignoring the filter on the color. But if I do have keep filter, now the numbers is different because uh, I'm no longer ignoring the filter on the color. So these are the sales uh, which are red. This is white or red. So the red part is ignored and Contoso is the only filter that is being applied further. As you have seen, it's a very simple addition to the DAX language. The important thing is that it goes in the right direction of enforcing the usage of best practices. It filters the smallest number of columns that are needed to satisfy the condition. So all is used by default, therefore it ignores filter coming from the outside. If you want to keep the outer filters, you just use keep filter in order to uh, keep the outer filter and uh, merge the new filter with uh, the previous one. A small addition that makes DAX simpler. Enjoy DAX! Mm -hmm.